<laughs> so basically, I don't know my slides they got stuck. Just a second. Superficial mycoses, they are classified into face infections and, and the cutaneous infections. So your super, uh, surface infections uh, are the one where the fungus, they lie exclusively on the dead layer of the skin and the appendages. So here there is no contact with the living tissue, so this will not elicit any inflammatory response. And these are mainly the changes which are produced are of you know, there are cosmetic effects. So the diseases which comes under superficial infection, superficial mycosis are tinea versicolor, tinea nigra, and teedra. And another set of in superficial infection is cutaneous infections. These infections, they are confined to cornified layer of the skin and appendages. So these will induce the inflammatory response. <clears throat> And this group, uh, the cutaneous infections most commonly caused by tomatophytes and uh, other cutaneous uh, important causes, Canada albigans. So coming to the tetriasis versicolor, that is your tina versicolor, which causes superficial uh, surface infections, uh, which occur on the uh, non-living uh, dead layer of the skin. Uh, this causes mild chronic infection of stratum corneum layer of the skin. And here you see the discrete macular areas of discoloration <clears throat> or depigmentation of the skin. So causative agent is lipophilic yeast-like fungus. That is Malassezia furfur. And it is worldwide in distribution. It mainly affects the young adults. And the symptoms, the common sites which it involves is the neck, back, abdomen, upper arm, and chest. So you find these macular patches, areas of
uh, when I was covering the dermatophytes. So dermatophytes cause infection called dermatophytosis. And you need to remember that they have three genera, important trichophyton, microsporum, and epidermatophyton. And trichophyton infects your hair, skin, and nail. Microsporum infects your hair, skin, only hair and skin. And epidermatophyton infects uh, skin and nail, but not the hair. So you need to remember the onsa kya infect karta hai. And they are, the, the habitat is also classified on the basis of the, uh, sorry, the classification. Uh, the dermatophytes also classified on the basis of the habitat, that is anthropophilic and geophilic and zoophilic. So they are specific examples to it. So how we can identify them? We can identify these in skin by the presence of, uh, so these are molds, okay? So the, you'll find these high line septate, branching hyphae, or you'll find the chains of arthroconidia in it. And on SDA, they show the characteristic colonies, which consists of these septate hyphae and two types of asexual spores. So we have two types of asexual spores, that is your micro, uh, microconidia and the macroconidia. Micro as the name suggests is small in size, the macro they are larger size, they are known as the macroconidia. And these uh, genidas, they are differentiated on the basis of the nature of the macroconidia they have. So I, how we can grow them, we culture them in SDA uh, and we incubate it at 25 degrees centigrade uh, when the growth appears after two weeks. So uh, trichophyton, how they will grow? Okay, fine, I'll cover that part later on. Let me cover the dermatophytes first because it's an important topic for you. Uh, you get a question on dermatophytes. It's a question, Arthur. Okay. So uh, trichophyton, these the colonies, uh, uh, they, they are on growth, so colony which are powdery, velvety and waxy and they have a pigment. Uh, some of the species, they have the pigment. Uh, they produce this pigment like trichophyton rubrum. They produce, uh, it produce uh, red color pigment. And here the micro conidia, they are abundant and they are arranged in clusters on along the hyphae. And the micro conidia, they relatively scanty. These microconidia, they are elongated and uh, they have blunt ends. So the different species have different characteristics. So accordingly, we identify them on the morphology. My uh, microsporum, they are the, cot the growth is cotton-like or velvety powdery with white to brown pigmentation. And here the microconidia are scanty. So trichophyton by micro macro was scanty. Micro was abundant, it's a ulta, it's a micro, hai. micro conidia, they are relatively scanty and are not distinct. Micro conidia, they are predominant spores which are seen in microsporum. They are large, multicellular, and spindle shaped structures. They are born singly on the end of the hyphae. I will show you the picture. And microsporum, as I told you, uh, it infects your hair and skin only. And these are some of the important species, microsporum, odoni, microsporum, canals, microsporum, gypsum. Now, epidermatophyton, epidermophyton, the colonies are powdery and greenish brown. So they are khaki colored colonies, they show, show khaki colored colonies. And the microconidia are not produced in this. So these are absent in epidermophyton. Macroconidia, they are abundant and they are multicellular. So they you know, one to nine cell uh, uh, macroconidia is seen, which are smooth, they have thin walls, and they are club shaped, arranged in clusters. So, epidermal phytons, glucosum is a very important species which causes uh, human infection. The clinical types so, uh, these dermatophytes can cause infections of your hair, so, which are known as senior capitals. Here, the scaly patches are produced on the scalp in which the hair shaft they get broken uh, right above the skin. So, this senior capitis can be of, these are various types, like uh, Kirion, this is more painful inflammatory reaction with boggy lesions on the scalp. Favors, here you know, the crust-like, cup-like crust forms are seen which infects the hair follicles. Then ectothrix is, here the arthrospore formation occurs on the surface, as an name is ectothrix, so the hair shaft 
So the fungal infection uh, is formed on the surface of the shaft, hair shaft. And endothelium is when these fungal infections are the spores, they are go inside the hair shaft. They fill the hair shaft completely. So these are the various species which causes, you know, uh, kirion, famous, or the hair, other hair, uh, ectopus endothelium. Then tinea purpuris, this infection of non hairy skin of the body that is in, it occurs in uh, trunk and limbs. Then tinea pedis, uh, athlete foot, it's infection first uh, of the, you know, the foot infects your web between the toes. Then tinea cruris is, uh, is infection of the groin area. So these are the names given accordingly. Right? Then tinea barbary, it infects the beard and the mustaches. These are the names given about this, the area which it infects. So, uh, then tinea imbricata, it, 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 uh, near the concentric lesions are formed on the skin. Then tinea unguum, uh, that is your nail plate infection, most commonly caused by tinea mentegrophyte and epidermophyton glucosum. Then tinea manum, it's infection of palmar aspect of the hands. So these are the clinical uh, types which are seen in case of dermatophytes according to the area where which they infect, whether they, infect, they can infect your foot area, foot area, that is the skin uh, of the foot, then your beard, the uh, palm of uh, the palmar surface of the uh, foot, nail bed, so we have this dermatophyte uh, or it reaction. This is a hypersensitivity reaction to dermatophyte antigen, uh, which leads to secondary eruptions in uh, sensitized patients. So these lesions which are formed, these are uh, distinct from the primary lesions which are formed, the primary ring, uh, ring worm lesions. And they occur most uh, distal uh, to the primary side. And uh, in such cases, the fungal culture is uh, mostly negative. So how, how we will diagnose these uh, dermatophyte infection? We can uh, go for wood lab examination. Like these, some of the species, they fluoresce. So we can use the wood lamp to, in order to uh, see the fluorescence. So this is a case, this positive case of microsporum species and phytophyton cholinae. And uh, this they fluoresce because of the pigment, the presence of pteridine pigment which is present in the cell wall. So we have this wood lamp, you know, uh, it's a small equipment kind of a thing where inside we put the specimen and we uh, look for the uh, fluorescence. We close, uh, we make the area dark and we look for the fluorescence. Then uh, what are the other uh, ways to, collect, uh, to diagnose the infection is that what are the specimens? which are required to, uh, we need to um, accordingly, like if it hasn't fed your hair, skin and nail, so if it infects your skin, then you need to take the skin scraping, then uh, your, uh, if infecting your hair, then you need to pluck the hair, nail hair, so you need to take the nail clippings and the under surface of the nail bed. Then after that, what we do in fungal infections, we do KOH mount. So that is, we make this potassium hydroxide mount, or we can go for a fluorescent method that is talcophore white, flow white steam. So in this case, it's a mold infection. So here we will find the thin septate hyaline hyacin with arthroconeria. So we will find thin hyacin, which is whitish, you know, hyaline, and we'll find Sometimes we'll find the arthroconeria. Arthro arthroconeria is when these hyphae they break at you know intervals. So that is known as arthroconeria. So we'll find this thin separate hyphae with arthroconeria. And when we culture it in cerebrodextrose agar, we culture it, we put cyclohexamide along with the chlorophenicol. You know that in, we need to put antibiotics to culture fungals, uh, fungal infections, because uh, in order to inhibit your bacteria, uh, bacterial contamination. So for uh, dermatophytes, we put cyclohexamide as well because it will inhibit the saprophytic fungus. So SDA with uh, cyclohexamide along with the uh, chlorophenicol or 
Delta Mithanol, Amikacin is incubated at 20, uh, 26 to 28 degrees centigrade for four weeks. And here the growth will start appearing after 15 days. You can also use uh, potato dextrose agar. It's another agar which is helpful in sporulation. So as these organisms, these fungus, all the fungus, they produce spores and they identify accordingly, according to the spores, according to the arrangement of morphology. But sometimes we only find hyphae. So in that case, we can use a media which can sporulate the fungus. So potato dextrose agar is one of the media and uh, which helps in sporulation. Then after after growth, we so check for the after culture, we check for the growth uh, every week. Then whenever, uh, when the growth uh, is there, when, uh, then we uh, prepare, uh, you know, we, we uh, do mac macroscopic examination. We see the rate of growth. Then how, what is the texture of the uh, growth? Whether the growth is producing any pigment, whether the pigment is produced, how the reverse side is, you know, if you are culturing it on a plate and reverse side may pigment hai, kini, obverse side kaisi hai. You know, all the we'll look for all the following following topography. So macroscopic appearance is very important in case of fungal infection, along with the microscopic appearance. Now coming to the microscopic appearance, after doing the macroscopic appearance. What we do is that in order to identify it, we will we'll look for the morphology and we go for the mount, LTCB mount. So that is the lactophenol cotton blue mount. These mount we make, we take the growth with the help of needles, these needles, we have the needles, we prepare it, we put the growth on slide, we tease it with needles. Uh, and then we uh, put a this LTCB, that is your lactophenol cotton blue, and then we put a cover slip and we see it under the microscope. So characteristically, in case of dermatophytes, we will look for the conidia. Along with the hyphae, there will be conidia. That is a microconidia and the macroconidia. The microconidia, they are unicellular, and macroconidia, they are multicellular and receptate. And along with this, we can also find that dermatophytes, they have special, uh, some special hyphae, like, you know, hyphae, they arrange. Uh, in spiral form or racket uh, hyphae of cavic chandler. So these are the forms of hyphae which we can see in case of dermatophytes. So macroscopically, how they will appear? Various dermatophytes that T. rubrum. So it is white cottony and it is showing the pigment. We have a pigment here, red color pigment. It's a non-diffusible pigment. It is seen on the reverse side. So this is reverse side, this is reverse side. So pigment is seen on the red side. This is a T. rubrum. Then trichophyton tonsurans is a flat powdery growth which is seen. Velvety growth. Then T. mentegrophyte will show cottony white to granular growth. Uh, then micro uh, microsporum produces water uh, uh, white cottony growth uh, with deep yellow uh, uh, on the verse. Then epidermophyton it shows the khaki color, olive green like appearance, uh, which we see. And this is how they will appear. appear. We have also a DTM that is dermatophyte test medium is there, which is specific for the growth of the dermatophyte. And here in that we look for the growth, uh, the, if the dermatophytes will grow in them, it will show red color uh, growth. So what we look for uh, is that I told you, we look for the asexual spores, so a microscope. Um, spores have small, tiny, small in size, and we have these macrospores, which are multi nucleate, multicellular. And, and so, according to these three species, they have different arrangement of these microconidia, like microconidia of dermatophytes. They, uh, is, they are more cylindrical, uh, microconidia is there than uh, in microsporum. A uh, microsporum, we have the fusiform uh, arrangement of uh, microconidia, and in uh, epidermophyton, we have this club shaped uh, arrangement of microconidia. So, accordingly, according to the arrangement of these, we identify these uh, species. So, uh, according to the distribution of dermatophytes, as I told you, uh, trichophyton, may microconidia is rare and it is there with thin walled, smooth, and pencil shaped. And microconidia is abundant. This table is very important. If you get a question on this, you need to remember this table and you must 
write this table you must prepare the figure this figure is very important so you will get the mark if you give a, uh, a diagram uh, you know will make the diagrams uh, the then the uh, microsporum these are number the macroponidia are more numbers and they are thick walled with spindle shape the three they are thick walled and usually form a spindle shape and microponidia they are rare in case of my, uh, microsporum then epidermophyta here they are uh, micro to as uh, microponidia bilkul absent hai aur macroponidia are club shape so these are the club shape macro macroponidia which are thick so this is ldcd mount which we prepare so this is these are the this is a trichophyton species as i told you microponidia zyada hote hain trichophyton mein to ye ye bahut sare chote chote dikh rahe hain aapko small in size these are microponidia and these are macroponidia pencil shaped multi cellular theek hai then microspora mein microponidia nahi hote macroponidia maximum so these are spindle shaped microponidia which are seen and thick walled multi cellular and epidermophyton mein आपको माइक्रोपोनिडिया uh, बिल्कुल एप्सन होता है यू फाइन द माइक्रोपोनिडिया व्हिच इज क्लब सो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है हाउ दे अपीयर इन एचसीडी माउंट बिकॉज़ अकॉर्डिंगली वी आइडेंटिफाई देम व्हिच जेनेरा इट बिलोंग्स टू सो दीस आर द वेरियस स्पीशीज ऑफ डर्माटोफाइट्स लाइक पी रुब्रम दैट इज योर ट्राइफाइटन रुब्रम इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट इट प्रोड्यूसेस रेक्टिक पिगमेंट और डिवर्स and microponidia in p rubrum is tear drop shape and macroponidia is long pencil shaped right in uh, uh, trichophytum and tegrophyte we have this white to tan powdery growth seen and here you may find spiral hyphae right and the macroponidia is cigar shape microponidia more of round or pyriform shape so accordingly we identify it. whether it is p or drop shape so it will go more towards the p rubrum along with this obviously there is a pigment and if it's more of round then pigment tegrophyte and so on and so so we identify these species okay so we need to remember that uh, the main, main uh, how the macroponidia looks like then other methods of identification is we can go for hair perforation test you can you know uh, this uh, it's a it's a procedure in order to identify dermatophytes they hair the fungus they will pierce the hair and produce wet shape perforation and this test is positive in case of pigmentegrophyte uh, n canner and along with this that pigmentegrophyte they also produces urease so we can put a urease test for uh, uh dermatophytes so this will help us help us in narrow down a um species at the species level then dermatophyte test in dermatophyte identification medium we have this we identify on the basis of color change so along with this we can go for other tests like pcr and we can also go for to check to check the uh, sensitivity to trichophyton uh in test not done usually sorry um so uh, i've already told you this hair infection one or two uh, slides then uh, ectotherix when your uh, hyphae are sparsely distributed within the hair shaft so this is uh, hair shaft and this may fungal infection jata hai you know if you look at the cut cut sections they, this is the fungal infection it occurs on the surface of the hair shaft okay p this is if you see this is koh mount and this is these are the hyphae these are the fungus this is the fungal infection infecting the hair shaft endothelix mein kya hai andar chala jayega it will go within and completely fill the hair shaft if you see this this is all your fungus inside the hair shaft then fever is uh, you know air filled spaces of this form and it gives a 
honeycomb like crust it must have seen in some children this honeycomb like crust crust appearance most commonly caused by trichophyton cholinae uh, i don't know like repetition some slides have gone missing so how to uh, what is the treatment so topical therapy is satisfactory for most single, uh, uh, skin infections we have these topical agents like azole compound turbina fil and uh, which can be uh, given we need to remember is that uh, some that for nail infections the, the the treatment is prolonged as compared to the skin infection because for the penetration it takes time and uh, so earlier we used to give this resulfulvin but now it has been replaced by terbinafine and itraconazole so this was all about dermatophytes it's very important you need to remember you need to remember this table if you write you know if question come short note it will definitely want to come it's an important topic so you write this table you write three generas you prepare this diagram and diagnosis is hair infect hair skin nail so we'll for when you take uh hair clippings you'll take uh nail uh, scrapings uh, nail uh, nail clippings uh, uh, under the nail bed scrapings then skin hair the skin scrapings then similarly you will go for koh mount you look for the hypi or the arthroponeria then you will subculture it on sca with cyclohexamide at 25 to 30 degrees centigrade you look for the growth macroscopically they will use a range of growth like powdery velvety is producing pigment then you go for the uh, what kind of pigment it is produce what purplish color of pigment is producing that will help to identify the species then you will go for the lcd mount and then in that you will see whether it that it has microconeria more or microconeria or which one is absent what is the shape of micro macroconeria whether whether it is club shape whether it is spindle shape whether it is you know pencil shape and all so this is how you will identify it और थोड़ा सा शुरू का मिस हो गया था तो सुपरफिशियल इन्फेक्शन में सर सीनियर वर्सिकुलर इज इम्पोर्टेंट द वन विच कॉजेस इन्फेक्शन ऑफ डेड स्किन एंड बैंडेजेस एंड इट डजेंट शो एनी इंटरमीट्री रिस्पॉन्स सो वी हैव दिस सीनियर वर्सिकुलर पिट्रियासिस वर्सिकुलर सो दीज दे फॉर्म दीज पैचेस मैक्सिलर पैचेस विच इज कॉज माई मैनिफेसिया फर्स एंड इन्फेक्शन अकर्स इन चेस्ट बैक abdomen neck area then you have uh, so on skin scraping uh, in case of melanesia you will find this peggity ball and peggity knee ball appearance you will find this ip along with this you find this uh, uh east like you know is like cells in the high peak so get the uh, its appearance of peggity and knee ball appearance and you will culture it on sca with olive oil since the lipophilic organism so we use this lipid olive oil and three it will show creamy color colonies then after that again we will go for lcd mount and we we'll look for these budding yeast cells so they will on lcd mount after the growth they will show these budding yeast cells brown cells this will be high peak सीनियर आइग्रा सीनियर आइग्रा में क्या होता है ब्लैक पैच इज सीन ऑन द स्ट्रेटम कॉर्नियम ऑफ पाम कॉज बाय क्लाडोस्कोरियम वर्निकर और इसका जब स्किन स्क्रेपिंग करोगे तो इसमें ब्राउन कलर की सेपरेट है कि दिखेगी ठीक है एंड ईस्ट सेल दिखेंगे बडिंग ईस्ट सेल्स एंड मेन दे आर सब कल्चर ऑन एस टी ए कल्चर ऑन एस टी ए देवल फॉर ब्लैक कलर कॉलेज फिर पियड्रा होता है जिस तरह से सिंगल फंगल इंफेक्शन ऑफ हेयर So we have this white pietra and black pietra. White pietra caused by Trichosporum mesahi, and black pietra is caused by pietrary uh, hotty. And these, in this, basically nodules are formed. Why the name white and black is given? Black pietra and black nodules are formed. These are attached on the. Must have seen some in some individuals nodules. They are attached on the hair shaft of of scalp or beard. And white pietra, these white nodules are attached. Okay, so that is why the name is given white pietra and black pietra. then the cutaneous infection so dermatophyte is very important so and apart from this we have canada also canada can infect your it can it causes superficial it causes cutaneous it can cause um, systemic infections it can cause subcutaneous infection so canada per se can cause all the type of infections so i will end my lecture here so dermatophyte is very important 
for uh, short notes. This will definitely be um, okay. Thank you.